My name is Ted Gruber from ChicagoNow.com slash MMA Disputed. UFC 152 took place in Toronto, Ontario, Canada on Saturday, September 22nd. Here are my top three fighters from that weekend. Number three, Manham will return to the cage after a year absence or what he called semi-retirement. Hammer returned and got the win over Roger Hollett via New Unanimous decision, and the crowd wasn't very appreciative of what was going on from both fighters, but I think it was kind of expected that Hamill was going to be out of it and a little rusty being out of the cage so long. I think Hamill re improves his cardio next fight and gives a better showing for the crowd, but all in all, it was a good good return Number for two, Man Demetrius Johnson won the first ever flyweight title in USC history, beating Joseph Benavidez. Benavidez and Johnson both went at it for a good five rounds, and the card scores could have went either way for either fighter. I gave the fight to Mighty Mouse, which he's also known as Johnson, and he is the first flyweight champion in UFC. I don't see Benavidez going away from that title shot any to, anytime soon, but I think he does pick up another shot in the near future. And my number one from UFC 152, John Jones defending his title against Vitor Belfort. Vitor Belfort did slap on an arm bar early in the first round, which he almost broke John Jones' arm, but Jones escaped and used his elbows and his length to his advantage for the rest of the fight to defend his title. Now the question is, who's next for John Jones? There's been talk of Chael Sonnen, Michael Bisbing, even Dan Henderson is still in the mix. I don't see John Jones getting beat anytime soon, as he's the best 205-pounder in the UFC and probably MMA right now, and there is not a person that equals the amount of talent John Jones has. What were your 152 highlights? Tweet me at Ted Gruber or follow my blog at chicagonow.com slash MMA Disputed.